So if you are trying to run OBS from bat file but it not working but there is a solution that we can fix this problem and in this video I am going to show it how you can actually do it. So first of all let me create a new document or text file to run this program. So OBS I just read is OBS and I just change the formatting to bat. That's it. Now just right click on it or go to edit mode. Now here you can write the function that we need to define for this OBS setting. So here if we just normally open our OBS like here you can see this is my OBS and right click on it and go to properties. We can get the location from here you can see here this is our OBS location uh, start in this address. So this address we need to copy this. Now what we need to type here we need to type start slash d this is the destination or where the application is now paste the address that we get from this obs like here and then you need to give the double quotation mark here for define a blank space and then you need to type the application name for application name you can just go here on the target you can see this is our target obs64.exe so this is the easiest way to find the location of any application not only just uh, obs you can also find for this camtasia or any other application you can just right click on this then right click on application and then go to properties and you can get the location that's it now just paste the address here that's it now our program is completed we can just save it now so i just save it so as of this video i am recording already on my obs but i will show you is is actually working or not so i just close this one and now if i just run it you can see it said that obs is already running as i am running the obs right now you can see so that's why this obs is not opening but you can see this is working and automatically open the launch option so that's it guys so i hope you understand so you just copy this code uh, from your location of this application i just show you right here just right click on the application go to properties and copy the start in and also the target file and just write start slash d and the location and the file name so thank you guys for watching i hope this video worked for you and if you learned something new please the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i will see you guys on the next video